Good morning, Thursday, January 21st. Still dealing with all these words that end with E, D, or I, N, G, and yes, we got all these rules. We only have one word that's fixing, that has the root word fix, and then just adds I, N, I, N, G without changing the spelling. That's this column. Be nice if they all were, but we only have one. We went through yesterday right here the different rules to help us out when we got to know when do we double this last consonant? It can help you with the CVC, the consonant, vowel, consonant in the root word. It can help you with the 111 rule, right? One syllable, one short vowel, one consonant after the short vowel. That can help you out. Or, or um, the, the final rule, <clears throat> which was the uh, making sure that this was a short vowel right the a e e o u well now we're dealing with this the dropping the final e or the e drop now you guys know move hike live come have take they all end with e and it's a silent e right t a k e is a root word take h a v v e is a root word have why does so mean the e kick them out well, to be honest with you, there really is like this, or that's exactly what you do. When you add ing or ed, you kick out the e and you do writing, coming, having, loving. No e. No e. You kick it out. Here's why. Basically, Yes, I know there's different names and words that have two vowels next to each other, but for the most part, for the most part, the English language doesn't like too many vowels next to each other. So when you add an ending like ing or ed, that is a big fancy pants name that we like to call a suffix. A suffix is an ending that comes at the end of the word. You guys know it changes, right? If you have hike, H-I-K-E, that's something you do. You go outside and hike. But if you have hiking, well, the, the suffix I-N-G changes to something you're doing now, hiking, right? Uh, but there you drop out the E, kick it out, and then I-N-G, so H-I-K-I-N-G. Really, the meaning is, is because if you have a suffix that begins with the vowel, I-N-G, right? I is the first letter. Or E-D, E, that's a vowel, right? That means, hey, we don't want too many vowels next to each other, so you kick out the vowel, the E, and you add I-N-G. You kick out the E, or you add E-D. Notice, here's a good example. Hope. If you want to add the suffix I-N-G, Notice I and G, so it starts with an I. There you kick out the E, and it's hoping. If the suffix starts with a consonant, like lis, notice L, that's a consonant, hopeless. Well, there you keep the E and add L-E-S-S. I know we don't have L-E-S-S as one of our suffixes. It's I and G and E-D. I just want to show you that... If it does start with a consonant, then you actually keep the E. But today we're focusing up here in the top half that you can see here. We do have suffixes that begin with vowels, I-N-G and E-D. So when it comes to this case, you are going to kick out the E. Sorry, E. If that's your favorite vowel, guys, I'm sorry. But, but that's how it works today. And I think this assignment is going to really help you out. Notice numbers 1 through 4. It has write the four words by adding e d or i n g. Now you gotta be you gotta use the whole week's worth of knowledge that you have here, because are you supposed to drop the final e and then add the suffix? Are you supposed to double the consonant? Well, if you really want to test yourself, you can try doing this without the book. But I would also suggest checking your answers with the book, or doing it straight away with the book. So you make sure you get it right. But uh, again, you got to make sure you write the word correctly in numbers 1 through 4. Numbers 5, actually numbers 5 through 12, you just add the word, the spelling word that makes sense. And again, the spelling word in unit 22 that makes sense 
for each of these. The elephant word, I think you probably know number 12. That's fixing, right? It's the only elephant word we have. And the challenging words, I say which which word fits the meaning. Which word is is uh, explaining the challenge words? We only have two of them, right? Propped and framed. That's what you need to do, look um, for numbers 13 and 14. Only two challenge words. This is your assignment for today, guys. Test day already tomorrow. Lord's blessed you, Jesus. Praise your Savior.